Bad Mark here with another transmission of Mech Tech Keyboards, and today it's just a real quick video. Um, I believe there may be two versions of the GMK61 out there. That's the only thing I can think that is going on, because I mean, I know some people are telling me that yes, this is a VIA keyboard and you can flash QMK on it, while I am having a completely different experience. So, I would love to get to the bottom of this, so anybody that has any information um, that has the GMK, if I don't know if we want to compare PCB models or whatever, because I have flashed many keyboards that you know come with a proprietary firmware, and then you have to flash it over to you know QMK or the proprietary via. But just just real quick, what I want to show. Well, uh, I don't have a screen recorder on on here, real quick, but I'm just going to the key tester so you can see escape key works you can also see that my function key works because i can cycle through the color and the light effects all right so we got that and i also can flip it over and show you guys that it is a zoya gmk61 now this one i received not too long ago when i purchased this i did have the complete impression that this keyboard was flashable to qmk I wasn't able to find any QMK source, but I did find the Zoya.top website where they have instructions on how to do this. But the only way you can flash a bin or a hex file to a QMK keyboard is to put it into DFU mode. Now, the majority of QMK keyboards, even if they have that, you know, different firmware loaded on it, this is how you go into boot mode. I'm gonna hold down escape and I'm going to plug in the USB and it just turns on, boots up. I've tried spacebar and B, I've tried the backspace, I've tried every combination that I've seen out there. Um, I've looked at the PCB, I don't find any really labeled um, pins that I can discern. I mean, there is a six, six set of through holes that are not soldered. And I'm sure that one of them is boot and one of them is ground, but I don't know which they are. So I don't want to just go and short <laughs> random pins on a board. I mean, I guess I could use my voltmeter and find ground, but how am I going to find boot? That's the whole problem. I don't have the schematic. I want to see if we can figure this out as a whole, because I mean, there are some people, I do believe there are some people that have been able to flash QMK following those instructions. But I've got to believe that there's others in my boat as well that have a GMK61 that will not go into DFU mode. Now, if someone knows how to find which one could be the boot one or knows a safe way to short those without actually shorting the PCB, if you let me know. Because I mean, I, I, I think that would, I think a lot of people would prefer Maya over the software that is used for this. It doesn't even have layers. Um, yeah, you got tap arrows, that's about it, but you don't have any layers. So I would like to load via on this and I'm sure that there's other people that would as well. So um, let's work together. Let's figure it out. If there's a way to flash QMK or just the, I mean, even if there's no source, even the hex, the bin file, like they have on the Zoya top store, or if there's a way to, um, basically, we just need a way to put it in DFU mode. I mean, I've got to believe it's the same PCB, though it could be a different PCB. I I can go ahead and take pictures and, um, and share them as well, and we can see. Maybe I have the wrong PCB, but I know that when I purchased it, it said that it was, there was, there was talk about Maya in it, um, just like the listing is today. I hope we can figure this out. Let's uh, give it a go. If you guys have any way um, or know any other way to get into DFU mode so that we can actually flash it, or if this is actually the PCB, let's try to figure it out. Anyway, wonderful day to everybody out there in YouTube land. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.